Clay County farmer Dick Nissen converted to no-till in 1995. And this August, we posed this residue question to his son, Chris. Neighbor comes in and says, Chris, I'm not going to do it. We got to, you know, we'll have too much residue to plant into. I, I don't want to mess with that. What would your answer be? Come look at our planter and see what, we're, what we have and see what we plant into. And as a neighbor, you know it works, what we do, because you can look across when you're combining and you're dumping in the wagon the same time the neighbor is, same row ahead, so you know the yields are the same. So it's like, why would I be out there with my field cultivator, my, my chisel plow, my disc, spending all that money when I look over at my neighbor who's out there with a sprayer and a planter and he's dumping the wagon just as often as I am, it would raise questions in my mind like, why am I putting all this into it to get the same out of it as that guy that's half the time, half the equipment wear and tear. He's out there with a 140 horsepower tractor. I got 300 horse. Yep. I, to me, it, it raises the question that they should be asking themselves is why don't I change? Why do I keep beating my head against the wall doing the same thing just because grandpa did it? Wow, that's my favorite soundbite so far. But is that just Chris's opinion? Is there anything more we can find from East River researchers on this? Sure. And let's go down the road to SDSU Southeast Research Farm and talk with Dr. Pete Sexton. See you soon.